Mornings are pretty chaotic in our home. So when I finally sit down and start my work day, I need to have a productivity stack of apps. Having a collection of apps that I can rely on helps me know what I have planned for my day. It helps me know what to focus on the moment that I sit down at my computer. And it also just helps me stay organized knowing that I don't have to remember everything because all of my tasks and plans can be put into these digital systems. So these are the seven apps that I use every single day to keep me on track and stay productive. Number one is Sansama. Sansama is a planning app that I've used for a couple years now, and they pull in all of it, the tasks and emails and calendar events into one clean system that's really easy for me to use. I start every day within the Sansama app and I use the daily planning routine to help me pull all of my emails in from my various email accounts and my clients' emails, to pull in all of my calendars, again, from mine and my clients' calendars, to pull in all of my projects from Notion, to pull in all of my tasks for like my home routines and my cleaning routines from Todoist, and to just pull in any other tasks that maybe didn't get done over the last week or to help me focus on the goals and the targets that I've set within the app. Once all of my tasks are pulled in, I can categorize them and set time estimates for each one. So that way I'm really keeping my day in check and making sure I'm not trying to take on more than I can actually handle. I also use Sansama's calendar integration to help me time block my day. So once I have all my tasks planned out, I can move them onto my calendar and I can see a step-by-step -step view within my calendar app that shows me exactly what I should be working on. This gives me the chance to look at the big picture of the day because I have to work around my toddler's nap schedule and my daughter's school schedule. Once my calendar is set up for the day, the next thing that I do is check my emails. I use Superhuman as my email client. It is $30 a month, but for $1 a day, it is well worth the price that I pay for it to help me quickly move through emails. I barely have to touch my mouse at all because of Superhuman's great keyboard shortcuts. And I also use Superhuman for all of my client emails so I can quickly go through all of the different inboxes that I'm responsible for. And I can usually knock out email in just 30 minutes. I only check my email twice a day, once in the morning and once right after lunch. And that just helps me stay focused, not get distracted by emails that come up or other people's tasks that they're assigning to me. I also use Superhuman's templates and snippets to quickly respond to emails, especially client emails, and to help me just quickly schedule meetings and things like that that just often come up and sometimes take a little bit to format the right email and just sound professional. Superhuman also has an AI assistant to help with this kind of thing and I use that all the time just to respond to emails really quickly and efficiently. I would say about 70% of my workday actually happens in Notion. Notion is my primary tool that I use. I also use Notion Calendar, but I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, Notion basically houses all of my content. It has all of like my budgets in there. It has my client work, meeting notes, pretty much if I'm writing something down, it's happening in Notion. Notion Calendar also integrates really well with this. I used Cron previously, which is now Notion Calendar. And so I'm able to quickly create meeting notes directly from the calendar. I can see my time blocked schedule from Sansama in my calendar because it connects to that. And then I can also see any other tasks or projects overlaid in Notion Calendar from my different databases that I have. So this just helps me make sure that I'm getting all the tasks done that I need to in order to plan the rest of my week. Now, if work is not happening in Notion, it's likely happening in my web browser. I use Arc Browser for this because I just love how it separates out different profiles and different spaces, um, especially when I'm logging into multiple Google accounts throughout the day. So I have a space and a profile set up for each of my clients, as well as each of my own like personal areas of work. So I have one for Nora Conrad, I have one for my personal life, my, like family, bills, things like that. And then I have one for each of my clients. And that just allows me to have my own set of bookmarks, my own passwords saved, and my own like login space. So it's really easy to focus on the work that I need to get done and not get distracted by like my personal YouTube channel while I'm trying to do client work. You can also have your own extensions. So things like my time tracker or a Pinterest save button can be added to only the areas that are appropriate. 
And finally, the app that I have open pretty much all day long is an app called Suka. And this is essentially a really fancy Pomodoro app. So what it does is allow you to set your own time periods of when you are working and when you're taking breaks. But it has a built-in music system so you can listen to music while you work. You can also connect it to Spotify. And then there's a coaching AI that comes on, lets you know that you're doing well, lets you know when it's almost time for a break. And it's just a really nice background noise to have during the workday. You can also add what task you're working on so you can check off your tasks within Suka if you'd like to. And there's a community aspect where you can share what you got done and you can also use it to block different distracting apps. Overall, I really love Suka for the Pomodoro method, but it just has a little more functionality than just Sansama on its own. And I really like just kind of feeling like I'm working in a coffee shop, but virtually. Finally, the last app that I rely on during my day is called Raycast. This is essentially a command line app that just gives you access to thousands of shortcuts with your keyboard. So I can quickly add tasks to Notion, to Todoist, I can search within my Notion pages, I can launch apps, I can do quick calculator apps, change how my windows are looking, take screenshots, pretty much any app that you have installed on your computer, um, you can access within Raycast. And it just makes it really easy to switch between tasks and to help me focus on the task at hand without completely having to switch an app or make multiple clicks. For me, my workday is really compressed into a small amount of time because my son is home with me during the day. So when I have focus time, I need to make the most of it. And Raycast just makes it so much easier to do that. My app stack is my own, and I encourage you to find apps that work well for your workspace. You may not need a calendar app, but you might really be looking for a good task management system. You might not do any work in Notion, but maybe you just use Google Docs. Whatever your app stack looks like, I just encourage you to find a flow that really helps you just get your work done without too many distractions. If you want some recommendations, I have all the apps that I talked about in the description box below, and I have even more apps and recommendations on my website, which I will also link to in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and if you would like to get some more productivity tips that are specific to working moms and not just traditional productivity, you can check out my last video right there.